welcome Tarazain um, to do the coffee talks. Um, Thank you. What, what has the Lord God put on your heart you'd like to talk about this evening? We just come from the beautiful hotel here. Yeah. yeah, and we had lovely uh, nice coffee weekend. and um, yeah, it was delicious. Very nice. Uh, Dessert. We, <laughs> we, uh, we thank God. <laughs> so, what has the Lord um, put on your heart you'd like to talk about today? The Lord has put on my heart to basically discuss the topic. Forgiveness. Now, I know that I've done a topic on forgiveness, but I just wanted to speak uh, uh, from my experience uh, with forgiveness, you know. Um, because at the end of the day, what Father God wants everyone to know as Christians is, have you really forgiven? The point, how you know that you've really, really forgiven is that you know, you don't have any memory of that problem, you know, uh, and also you want to see the best for that person. You don't want to see that person go to hell, I understand? So for me, uh, I have forgiven uh, all the people who have hurt me in the past. Do you find that it's very hard, you know, for Christians, um, yeah. you know, to forgive? Because the Bible clearly says, you know, when we forgive, um, we also forget. Because the Bible clearly says that about forgiveness, um, you know, it, uh, the Father doesn't forgive us if we, if we don't forgive. And as, yeah. as the Bible, have you got some scriptures yes. you'd like to share there? Daniel chapter 9, verse 9. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. Okay? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, uh, 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 our Father God, he's so, so kind and so loving mm -hmm. that. Even when we do rebel against Him, even when we do go away from Him, He still forgives us. This is again going to, you know, backsliders and prodigal sons and daughters and lukewarm Christians. You guys think that God doesn't forgive you. That's why you don't want to come back to God. At the end of the day, that's a very, very silly idea to think because our Holy Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and He's rose. You understand? Yes. So forgiveness is a... Is a um... You know, it's a very hard place sort of uh, topic to it talk about It is very, very hard. And it's, it, you know, for, for people, because you have to think, when you die, you go to heaven, yeah, with Yeshua, okay? So you have to forgive. Otherwise, it will eat you up. It will, you know, it's not going to do you any good, you understand? Um, it, it is very, very, very deep, okay? Forgiveness is very, very deep. It's a very, very... You have to do it. You have to forgive. Otherwise, our Father God will not forgive you. And you are going to be the one who's losing out. So I am just telling you, uh, I'm telling the nations, I'm sharing this with the nations, okay? For the people who have hurt me, okay? With love, I forgive you, okay? I forgive you. So uh, uh, you guys, you know, you guys have to really, really accept that, okay? If you've done wrong to somebody and somebody's saying that they have forgiven you, accept that and praise God and ask God to forgive you if you have hurt anybody in your life. Okay? Because you know. So, have you got another scripture you'd like to share with now? As This is Psalm 103, verse 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Praise Amen. The Lord. And so that's, he has done that. So that's when you know we become born again. I mean that also talks about sin. It's God. When a yeah. person comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, he doesn't he doesn't remember our sin anymore because it's actually buried from north to south, the east from the west. Yes. But when we become born again as a Christian, you know, um, we shouldn't hold anything. No. Um, against anybody, no. if it's a small little dog, it's unforgiveness. Even if it's the, yeah. sorry, even, you, mm. even if it's the smallest thing, and you don't, and you don't even remember it, God will judge you for that. You know, mm. because God remembers it. God sees your heart. Look here, I have the heart. I have the crown and the heart. King Jesus, He is judge of hearts. Okay, because at the end of the day, you cannot expect to go to heaven uh, uh, with with unforgiveness okay and it does it does go to the point that you know 
it's the worst of the worst. You have to forgive them. And yes, of course, you heal. We all have to heal. But the most important thing is that we have to forgive and we have to love our brothers and sisters. I love you, okay? I'm telling you this. I love you. And I will always love you, okay? So you have to accept that I forgive you, okay? And ask God to forgive you. Because, you know, at the end of the day, when you have unforgiveness, it shows in your face. It shows in your countenance. Countenance, it Yeah, does, it shows yeah. in your countenance, you know. And people, they see that. So for me, I know that I'm good with Father Yahweh because I check myself all the time. We have and to some, examine ourselves. Don't yes, we? it's not easy because, you know, it does come to a point where you will start crying and you will, you know, you will feel like, oh, you know, but it won't last very, very long. And what you said, Evangelist Deirdre, is the most important thing is that you only care about what God thinks about you because He is the judge, He is creator. He is the one that is going to be judging the whole world, okay? On the whole planet, yeah. The whole planet. Is there another scripture you could share with us? Yes. Then he adds, this is from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. Then he adds, their sins and lawless acts I will rem remember no more. Isn't that awesome to know that, that our Praise sins are already forgiven yes. when we come to our Lord and Savior, um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because He came and He died on the cross for our sinners yeah. and He rose from the dead to give the eternal life. And His blood was shed for our sins. Yes. Um, and also is that if we can look to, the, look to what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us, He died in our place and that's forgiveness. So, um, you know, if we have uh, holding on forgiveness um, in our hearts, we just have to look at what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us by His grace, and that should be yeah. enough to, to, you know, to, to bring the, <laughs> to bring, you know, that person. Maybe as I was speaking to a, a Christian here today, this evening, um, you know, to say, look, you know, I've sinned against my father, and I've sinned against. Uh, you and please forgive me. Is it very hard to say that to somebody that's hurt you? Is it very hard? Do you think it might be hard for a Christian to say that? You know, it, it's 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 easy to say it, mm -hmm. but to really uh, 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 feel it and know it. And the whole point, how you know, is that when you see that person, how do you feel when you see them? Oh, okay, okay. So you you will you will forgive them, um, and as the Bible clear says, you forgive and you forget, and then the healing, as you they, said, you understand. So it's what you feel in your heart, you understand? So uh, the question was about... Um, it's about that, per whatever the, the yeah. unforgiveness was, so, wherever you know, the situation was, yeah. that they have to forgive and yes. forget. And then the healing, as you said, yes. takes place. So going but back... What, but sorry. what happens if you're going to bump into them on yeah. your journey? Yes. How would you think that, how would that react? As you talk about love well, as well. at the end of the day, if you think about our Holy Lord Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for all of our sins, for all the sins of the earth. And He's risen for us to have eternal life. So if God can send His only begotten Son to do that for us, we have to do the exact same. We have to always remember that God did that for us. Okay, so you have to kind of just leave it to God, okay? And I've just said before, forgive. Yeah. Forgive. Yeah. Forgive. You know, because at the end of the day, our Holy Lord Jesus Christ will not forgive you. And it will show on your face. And, you know, at the end of the day, you have to think about the other person because the other person has probably suffered a lot, you know. And also, it's a good it's a good a closure for them to know that you have forgiven them. Yeah. Because lots of people, they suffer inside a lot. But that's, 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 that's to do with God. You just have to forgive that person and accept forgiveness if you've done wrong to somebody, okay? And, you know, move on with your life and try and be the best person for God that you can be. You and the Lord Jesus Christ cannot use um, somebody in ministry no. if they have unforgiveness no, in their not. heart. Of course Because not. the Bible clearly says that the heart is the most vile and the most wicked. Yeah. So man looks at the outer and the Lord Jesus Christ sees the heart. Yeah. So we have to examine ourselves every day and say, Father, you know, um, search your heart. Isn't that Psalm 51? Yes. Psalm of David. Uh, search your heart, Lord, and renew the right spirit within me. Yes. Because what Praise I've noticed God. in these churches is that they don't talk about that, that Jesus Christ, okay, is our Savior. He loves us. 
He suffered for us. So that means if He suffered for our sins, we have to forgive. Forgive. Okay? Because they don't speak about forgiveness in churches. It's very important. Just by not forgiving somebody, you can go to hell. God will not let you into heaven. Okay, so Christians, go back and think about all the people in your life, okay? And ask God, really, have I really forgiven this person, God? How you know if you have forgiven that person is that if you can see them in the street and you can give them a hug and you want the best for them, okay? And also you don't want, yes, and you don't want them to go to hell. Do you want the person that hurt you to go to hell to be condemned to hell for life, for eternal life? You know, there was a lovely, lovely story uh, on one of these tracks about this man in Africa and his house was burned down, okay? And he found the guy who burned his house down, okay? And what did he do? He knew it was him, okay? And the guy was like shaking, he didn't know what to do. The guy said to him, look, if I put you, if I tell the police on you, you're just gonna go to prison and you're not going to find Jesus Christ, okay? So what happened is that he forgave him. Hello, he forgave him. God bless you. God bless you too. You want a track? Okay. I have a YouTube channel uh, called Tara Zion. Yes. It's all about Jesus Christ. We just we do Amen. lots of videos as well. well so done. are you he's Christian? Coming, he's coming soon. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Tara Zion on YouTube. Tara Zion. Zion. Z I O N. God bless you, brother. Take care. You see? Um, and basically, what happened is that. What happened is that, um, so the guy said to him, look, that's not going to make a difference if you go to hell or not. You're going to go to hell and you're not going to be forgiven. So the guy, he forgiven him. But what happened, his, 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 uh, his daughter uh, was poisoned, okay? Little girl. He couldn't find the person. Then the person came and was crying and said, what are you going to do? Please put me in prison, hang me, do whatever. He goes, look, if you are hanged, you are going to go to hell and God is not going to forgive you for your sins. So the guy forgave him and he did that to his ch daughter and now after about 20 years they're both in missions together they're both teaching together okay it's very very hard to forgive but you have to forgive otherwise our holy lord jesus christ he will not forgive you so yes forgive forgive okay god bless you god bless you and thank, thank you. you so much for joining uh, me with dearly coffee talks and hopefully again we'll we'll probably again maybe talk about this again Yes. Okay, God bless you. Thank you, Evangelist Deirdre. Thanks. God bless you.